Cheers to Vlogmas Day 2. Good morning you guys and welcome to Vlogmas day two. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video and if you haven't seen it, I will link it at the end slate of this video. Okay, I know my hair is so greasy, but at this point I have no time to eat, sleep, or wash my hair. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but I still haven't even gotten today's video up. It's like 7.30 and I've kind of had a rough start to the morning, but Sounds like we've got freaking reindeer in here. My allergies are really bothering me and I'm finishing up my period so I'm just like not feeling the best today. But we're gonna push through. It's Sunday so our plans for today are to write an essay but then go to church, finish writing that essay, hopefully get it done today. I haven't started on it and it's like 10 pages so we shall see how that goes. I don't think it should be too hard. The thing is it's over a subject that I know nothing about so I have a lot of research to do. I have like 12 books from the library checked out. And we also have to go grocery shopping because we literally have nothing in our fridge. you guys so I just took a second to take a shower and put on some skincare and stuff and now I'm going to get back to doing homework for a bit it is now like nine o'clock I kind of need to get going because we have to leave here at like 10 45 for church but I still need to like let my hair dry put my makeup on all that stuff until 10 o'clock so for the next hour I'm going to keep writing my essay and then I'll take like 30 minutes to get ready all right, you guys, so I have peeled myself away from my laptop to get ready for church. Audrey's feeling a bit sluggish this morning, and I'm feeling a bit like I've got a lot to do. Maybe, like, just stressed out, basically. So I'm going to throw on a bit of makeup so I can feel a little better about myself. That's also why I took a shower, because I was like, I need to just cleanse my mind, body, and soul right now. So I'm gonna put some makeup on and then we're gonna go to church and we actually have some other errands to run after church which I don't have time for and neither does Audrey but we have to make time for it because we have movies and books due at the library. I have to get a passport memory card for my computer because I'm already out of space and that'll be at Target and then we have to go to all these because we literally have no food me and audrey ate vegan bacon and oatmeal for dinner last night because we have literally nothing we have no pasta sauce we have no fruits and vegetables we have two veggie patties in the freezer and then we have some like almond milk and cream cheese in the fridge and that's literally it my favorite mascara of all time i'm obsessed with this stuff and now i've got to figure out something to do with my hair okay so this is my very quick and maybe not so cute outfit of the day i just have some black levi's jeans on and then my steve madden boots and then i have on a gray shirt that's like a mock neck from target and then a jacket from jc Penney's that my grandma got me on black friday okay so we just got out of church but we're starving. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Taco Bell because we still have to run errands 
and we're gonna grocery shop and I hate grocery shopping when I'm starving because then I just buy a bunch of junk food that I normally wouldn't buy. So we're gonna go drop off some books and DVDs at the library, and then go to Target and then Aldi's and we'll be done. You so. forgot to stop. What? We have to go to Walgreens. Oh yeah, I'll do tell them. I got my film developed! So y'all will be able to see that. I hope you're interested because, yeah, anyways, whatever. <laughs> I got my film developed. I'm, I'm excited. excited. There, some of the photos we have no idea like what the film rolls were of, like what point in time. I know, I don't know if one of them is from Portland, but how many did you drop off? Two? Six. <laughs> oh, how much is that gonna be? Like $200? No! That's expensive. I'm expecting it to be like $25 to $30. Okay. Target, we meet again. This time, not for something fun. Well, I was just gonna casually talk to you guys and then someone pulled up right next to me, so this is great. And they just hopped to the curb. You see him? <laughs> Readjusting. Oh, he decided, never mind. He's gonna just park back there. Cool. So, Target didn't have what I needed. They did yesterday and they don't today, so I hate myself. <laughs> I should have just gotten it yesterday, but it's fine. I'm gonna order it online and just pray that my computer doesn't totally give out on me when it comes to having space on the hard drive. We ate Taco Bell, we dropped the books off at the library, and Audrey's in Walgreens right now. She is getting her film, so I'm excited to see what that looks like. I feel a little grumpy right now because, well, I think it's because, one, I'm still on my period, two, oh my gosh, this person just totally, is this for real? Is she staying there? She's so crooked, like I'm barely going to be able to get out of here. I feel like everything's annoying me today. I haven't been sleeping well lately. I have been going to bed extra late and waking up extra early every day for the past like maybe three weeks. So that's like beginning to really wear on me I feel like when it comes to being positive. <laughs> and oh Audrey wouldn't answer her phone instead of, or instead of Target. I called her like 10 times and she didn't answer so that also really made me irritated. But I'm not irritated anymore. I'm coming. I'm calming down. I'm gonna try and wake up, snap out of it, and be kind. I was not filming that whole time, are you kidding me? Okay, so a quick run through of our groceries. We got two bunches of bananas, one that are like more green and then one that are pretty ready. Then I got some organic grapes. Audrey's been eating grapes lately, so I try and get them fairly frequently even though they're not the best fruit for you but Audrey doesn't eat very much fruit she's so picky I got myself some strawberries I got myself some mandarin oranges where are the other bags right here then we got some brussels sprouts I've been loving brussels sprouts lately I just cooked them with like salt garlic powder onion powder olive oil pepper and agave and they're so good and like the oven oh they're amazing we got some Yellow squash, frozen peas, some baby carrots, some green bell peppers, and just red, yellow, and orange bell peppers, frozen corn, frozen broccoli, zucchini, spinach, chopped kale, celery, and green beans. So much stuff for $30. It blows my mind every time I'm there, I'm like, it's so cheap. The one like huge downside to all these is that they use so much plastic. We take our own tote bags, so that's good. Um, and they don't provide bags for you there. So it's kind of like they're swapping out the bags for packaging, I guess. So it pretty much evens out to like every other grocery store if you don't take your own bags and it's like the same thing, so.
guys i know the lighting is probably really weird because i have all the christmas lights on in the house right now so i feel like my camera's kind of freaking out but i'm standing next to my advent calendar because today is day two and i haven't done the advent calendar yet today let's see bless ye Okay, so today says Zoe's Place Community Group. Okay, so I've pulled up the Zoe's Place little website and I wanted to talk about kind of like what they do, kind of like yesterday, what they do, um, what they're all about, and my experience with the organization. So Zoe's Place is ran by a woman named Brandy and me and Audrey first met Brandy at my parents' church when we... When they first moved to Texas, we went there a couple times with them and she had set up a booth and was basically just asking for volunteers. And so me and Audrey put our names on a piece of paper and didn't really think much of it for the next few weeks. And then we got an email from Brandy asking for girls our age to come to a community group. If you've ever been in church as a youth or a young adult even, you've probably been involved with like a family group, community group, home group, whatever you guys call it. You've probably heard about them or been a part of one. Um, and basically what we do is just like get together and hang out, talk. Sometimes we eat together. Sometimes we just chat. Sometimes we actually do like a lesson and talk about a scripture or something like that. But she asked us to come because she wanted to build a community around the girls that she's helping in Zoe's Place. So that's how me and Audrey got involved. So Zoe's Place is bridging the gap between foster care and adulthood. Zoe's Place provides transitional services to homeless youth aging out of foster care. Our mission is to equip, empower, and prepare for adulthood. So it says 20,000 young adults age out of foster care in the U.S. each year, and 1,200 young adults age out of foster care in Texas each year. Zoe's Place fulfills the basic needs of young women ages 8 to 26 who have aged out of foster care. We help prepare them for independent living by teaching them skills that will enable self-sufficiency. By equipping and empowering these young women, we are propelling them onto a successful future. So two things. One, you can check out Zoe's Place online on their website i'll just have it linked below you can click on that and kind of read about what they're about and feel free to donate but i also wanted to talk about zoe's place because it was something local that me and audrey had never really heard about because it's a pretty small organization and we just found it and then ended up falling in love with its mission and love hanging out with the girls so i just wanted to encourage you guys to even just like google local organizations, local nonprofit organizations and see what comes up because you never know what small local nonprofit is around you that could really use your help and you could have fun doing it. You could make friends doing it. Me and Audrey have made some of our closest friends here in Texas through going to these community groups so it's both beneficial for them but also really beneficial for us you learn so much by volunteering whether it's with younger people or older people every life experience you'll you'll gain knowledge from and you'll gain experience from so if helping them out is not motivation enough just know that it will also help you and just like broaden your horizon help you learn other people's stories gain compassion for other people and you'll just gain knowledge about a cause that you might have not known about before so all around it's a really great thing to volunteer especially locally just feels really good because it's a little bit more tight-knit so yesterday I talked about more of like a very, very big scale nonprofit organization so today I wanted to talk about a lot smaller of a local nonprofit organization there's that so yesterday was more about like donating money and today was about donating time and just looking for more people who need a helping hand around you when it's easier to kind of have like tunnel vision in your town and not even know or be aware of a nonprofit organization or not even be aware of a need that is in your city that is in your backyard that you can help with. And that can be easier sometimes. Sometimes people don't wanna donate their money either because they don't have money or they're not sure if their money's being used in like a correct way. You can always donate your time. There's my little spiel on that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna say that like every time. There's my spiel on that. And I need to keep writing, but I think I'm gonna start editing today's video, honestly. Cause I'm tired of writing. That's pretty much it. I'm tired. <laughs>